Hi there, in this Microsoft Office video um, we'll be looking at how we can use access to create a table and then a form to add data to the table. I'll also uh, create um, a table that will relate three other tables together. So this is the actual data that will be creating. So you notice I have all of the field types defined here and then we have three other tables. Um, this one will relate the other three together. So I'm going to create a new blank database. And I'll throw that on my desktop. my finite folder there. I'll call it t-shirt shop. So this is going to be a point of sale system as well as a little bit of HR management for a t-shirt shop. And create. So when I create a brand new database it gives me a blank table called table one uh, with one field called ID. I'm going to quickly switch to design view to create my field types. When I do that, it prompts me to name this thing, save it and name it. This thing I mean, by this thing I mean the table. So this will be table customers. So I use TBL for a prefix for all of my tables, all my table objects. So uh, again, this is the database I'll be creating. So I'll be creating all of these field, these fields here, as well as defining the type and some specifications about each one. So I'll start with um, customer ID. So I'll rename this as customer ID. So when I was given this table, it made it created an ID field and it made it the primary key. So every table needs a unique identifier, which is a primary key. So it's uh, auto numbers um, serves well for this. So it automatically assigns a number to each record. And I'm going to uh, format this thing to be backslash, capital C, and then four zeros. So hopefully we'll have uh, over a thousand customers eventually, over ten thousand, I should say. Um, so this is the machine-readable name here, the field name. If you want to display a more user-friendly label, that is a human-readable version, um, you can add that to the caption. So I'm going to say customer ID. Again, this is the human readable version. And then I'll move on to my next field, which is cust first name. So I'll have a couple of um, tables that contain people, so there will be multiple first names. Well, this will uh, make it um, so that we can tell which first name it is, if it belongs to a customer or an employee. Short text is fine. You can reduce the field size if you like. I'm going to go down to 40. Uh, the benefit of doing this now is when we create the form to add the data to the table, uh, this will be the actual length of the field in the layout of the form. Uh, format, no format for this one. Um, for the caption, I'll say customer first name. Uh, this will be, um, dis uh, this caption will be displayed as a label for the field on the form so I can just say first name. This will be the customer form, so it'll be obvious what it belongs to at this point. So I'll just say first name. Again, the human readable version. No default value. If everybody was named John, all of our customers were named John, for example, then we could use the default value John. And I'll do something similar, cust last name. Short text. I'll go down to 50. Some people have multiple last names strung together. And customer, uh, again, last name. Don't need customer. And address. I use all lowercase for my uh, field names. I'll go down to maybe uh, 100 for this one. A little larger than the last name. Um, 
and again the caption, caption I'll use a proper noun version again to be more user friendly I use proper nouns for my captions but all lowercase for my machine readable version of the field and city short text again maybe uh, 80 or something like that and caption with a capital C now most of my or quite a few of my customers are in Vancouver so I'm gonna add a default value so I don't have to enter Vancouver for those customers that are in Vancouver we can always override that default when we add the data and region so this one uh, these this is a region code like a state province so um, we have international codes that are only two characters and I'm going to use a greater than symbol for format that'll force capitals so the user can type in lowercase when they leave the field when they tab out of the field or click away it'll become uppercase and the caption I'll say region with the capital R and we have quite a few folks in BC so I'll use the default value BC and postal code and we uh, generally have codes around eight, maybe uh, maybe ten. Some of the U.S. codes are longer. And um, again, I want to force capitals. And caption, I'll say postal code. And there is no default value. And phone number. So this one. I'm going to use, uh, let's just say maybe 20, maybe 30 for uh, length. Um, I want to use an input mask. So I want my uh, phone number to have uh, brackets, dashes, and spaces. So so Access will add those for me. I, the user has to, has to just type in the plain number. The brackets, spaces, and dashes get added. So if you go all the way over to the edge there of the input mask, you have to click on it first. You get the ellipses, you click on that. I'll say yes, I do want to save it. And the very first one is phone number, so I can just choose finish. And then customer since. And that's date time. And we can use an input mask for the uh, the date, but it's actually quite easy to format this thing automatically. So it's uh, a full month name is 4Ms, an abbreviation is 3, um, numbers with a 0 is 2, and numbers without a 0 is 1. And all same thing with the D. A D. Single D has no zeros, and Y, 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 Y. Oops, not 666, Y, 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 Y. And caption, customer since. And I'm just going to go back and add my caption for my phone number. I realize I forgot that. Again, just a proper noun. So I'm finished with my table. I'll quickly save it. And um, now I'm going to add the data. I'm just going to add two pieces of data just so you can experience what that's like. So I'm not going to add the data to the table. I only use the table um, in design view so we have a couple of views here. We have design and data sheet. I only create um, the table and design view just to build the structure. So this is the architecture of the database. So I'm done with the table. It's called TBL customers. I'll quickly save it and I'll close it. And now to create the form to add the data, we choose create and we use the wizard. So I use the wizard for reports and forms. I use the design view for tables and queries. So we only have one table so it's automatically selected. I'm going to add data for all of the fields except auto number. Customer ID gets added automatically by access. So I don't need to add data for that. If we add the ability to add data for something that automatically gets um, populated, populated with data then it may confuse the, uh, the end user. Uh, you want to assume non-technical users are entering the data. I choose next. Kilometer's fine, next. It asks me what I want to call this form, so I use FRM as a prefix for all of my forms. Again, TBL for tables, FRM for uh, forms, RPT for reports, QRY for query, and I use all lowercase. 
and then I will choose finish. And there's my form. It's gorgeous, except it's got this terrible machine version of the form name. So I can change that by going to my layout view. My favorite way is layout. We have design, layout, and form. Layout is the easiest way to manipulate stuff. And I'm just going to remove that FRM and change this to customer data. And you can resize these blocks if you like to. If you click on that, I clicked away to finish editing, then I clicked on it to select that object. Um, I can make that a little bit wider and I can make it shorter. We also have the ability of changing the appearance of this thing. So under um, f uh, design here, we have different themes. So if you want to choose a different theme. Oh, that one got cut off. There we go. And that's great because I use a Century Gothic, one of my favorite fonts. Um, it's pretty. All right, so basically it's a good looking form. I'm just going to quickly add the data to this form. So um, I want to do that in form view. So I'm going to add uh, John, last name, and I hit tab to move to the next field. Tab on my keyboard, address is 896. Crescent Boulevard. Uh, it's in Vancouver. Already added it as a fault. And then the postal code. Um, I can add all lowercase. So lowercase V9J0T5. Now, when I hit tab, since I had that greater than symbol as a format character in the table design, when I hit tab, it capitalizes. So we don't have to hold down shift when we type in those capital letters saves us a bit of work. Uh, 604, so again we've got an input mask here, so I just have to type the plain numbers, they get arranged properly. And there's an uh, input mask for a number of different things. I only use the phone number one, but there's a bunch of stuff that's, use that's useful. Now the customer since, I've formatted it to be a full month name, um, a single digit day, so for example if uh, we're on the fifth it would be five, if we had two D's in that code it would be zero five and then a full Y, 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 Y for the years. Sorry, Y, 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 Y. Yeah, that's right. So it's either two or four for the Y's. So I'm going to say, um, I can just type in one, sorry, one slash 10 slash 57. So when I hit tab, it creates a new record and saves this one. If I want to go back and look at this record just I just added, I click on my back arrow here. And there we go. There's our form and our table. So again, that was uh, creating a brand new database, saving it in a location, creating a table, and then adding a form to add the data. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to work with multiple tables. Thanks so much for watching.